So today I have an unboxing for you, I guess. Um, God. Bland Wonderworld. I tried to give you the benefit of the doubt. You know, so if you haven't seen it, I actually had a whole video of a review on the, um, on the demo. Uh, God, you know what? I gave this game the, the, the best, the best kind of shake I could have given it. You know, I understand it, it was a game that was full priced, but honestly should have been a budget title. I understand it looked a little rough. But you know, it played on my heartstrings a little bit with nostalgia. It had that kind of feel. I wanted it to be good. Um, you know, I didn't crucify it. I mean, so many people I know who did videos on that game, they they just utterly trashed the game. They're like, this game is, is garbage. And you know, I it, it, it had some feeling to me of like, this is some cool stuff. There's some cool ideas here. One complaint I heard a whole lot that I always thought was kind of dumb, uh, to be honest, and this is I still I do hold this view now, is like, oh, there's no jump button. Like, all the different suits can't jump. And I mean, I get it. That's kind of the point of the game, especially because, like, you know, each power, each suit, you know, ha has an ability to do a puzzle. And a lot of the times, if you can jump and use that ability, it breaks it. So I kind of get what they were doing. I understand people are definitely, like, upset about that, but I get what they were trying to do. I tried my best to give this game the benefit. I'm like, come on, you know, it, it, it looks neat. And then, you know, they had a new trailer when they had that uh, Square Enix Direct thing and it showed co-op. So I'm like, okay, okay. So they're, they're working on the game. You know, they're, they're gonna do right by it. And then the game came out. It came out I, like two Fridays ago now. Yeah, two Fridays ago now. And I was, uh, I'm gonna say this now. I was the idiot who, who ordered the Showtime edition. I was the dummy who ordered the collector's edition because um, I had hopes for this game. It was something I was like, you know what? A lot of people are looking down on this game, so I bet you like the collector's edition may be worth something in the future. It, like regardless if the game's terrible, maybe I can sell it in the future because it's gonna be one of those weird things that didn't sell. I don't know. The soundtrack was good. It comes with a soundtrack. So I'm like, ah, you know, this is just me trying to justify it to myself. So I justified it to myself. I'm like, I'm going to buy this on the Switch. I love Switch Collector's Edition. Square Enix hasn't steered me wrong before. They're a major company. This is a full-priced retail game. And the Collector's Edition is no different. It's $130. For $130, you have to get some cool stuff here. They showed it comes with a soundtrack, comes with a book, and a, some kind of exclusive tote bag, whatever. <sighs> I made the mistake of not reading the fine print over in the in the tiny corner here uh, comes as a soft launch soft set what does that mean woohoo yep that's what that means uh, no cool collector's edition box no like something awesome to display I get the game that'll go on the shelf the soundtrack I'm honestly excited about this I'm not gonna lie a pen a book and a bag I mean this is all the stuff they said but like it's all loose. What do I do with this? Where am I gonna put? What am I gonna put this? Like, hey, fuck, bland Wonderworld. Here's the here's the book. I mean, this is sucks. Like, this sucks ass. This is sucky. But whatever. You guys are obviously here to see me unbox this. So there is some good here. Let's look at everything, though. Okay, the. Let's do the, the, the dumbest thing. This was the, hey, you pre-ordered. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna open this because you can see what it is. This is a uh, grocery bag that costs $2 that you can get at the freaking, you know, what's a grocery store everyone has? Walmart, whatever. And like, yeah, it's a, it's a cloth sack. And what does it have on it? It has, you know, uh, the secret hat. Um, cool, super neat. I'm glad this exists. Hey, it says Square Enix on it. Quality. All right. So, I'm interested to see what's in this book. I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to say, this is dumb, right? Like, you can't put this on your shelf. It's super thin. It doesn't stand up. You can't display it because it takes up too much real estate. I couldn't set this out. This all needs to be in a box. Like, I spent... <laughs> this was $130. Like, Jesus... You couldn't spring for the cardboard? Like, oh my god. That cardboard can't even open it. Because it's made out of 
stupid. I mean, ugh, I'm so mad. And like, have you seen Capcom stuff? Go back and watch my video on the Capcom beat em ups collection. That box was massive. And it was just cardboard. Cheap cardboard, not even chipboard. I'm not even asking for the good stuff. I'm just saying something to hold this crap in. The fuck thing sticks to the book because it's a piece of junk. Get off of there, you sack of crap. Slice of shit. Okay, here's the premium book. Super nice. Smells like. Fuck. Smells like. What's that store? Office Max. <sighs> At least the quality's nice. All right, I'll not complain about that. This is, this is really nice paper. It's good, like photo paper. This is, it feels, it feels good. I'll say it, it feels good. They have cool characters. You got a guy named Leo Craig. Craig's not a last name. Emma Cole, also not a last name. Balan, Lance. I used to work for a guy named Lance. He's way cooler than this guy, but this guy's, he's pretty cool. I'll give you that. And here's all the, here's all the. You know, earlier when I was talking about stuff I didn't complain about, I didn't complain about Jose. This guy is terrifying. I didn't complain about him. I was on your side, man. I was on your side, Hao Chang. So I guess this is all the characters from the different levels. Um, you know, this is what you get. I'm, we're gonna go through this whole book. It's only, god dang, six, six ass pages. So what, you got, you know, you got, you got Clown Man for Mega Man 8. That's solid. Um... Here's the other stuff. Look at that. Every suit in the game. I sure can't wait to play as a, a vacuum cleaner or the blue vacuum cleaner. Choose your own adventure. I was so, mm -hmm, so mad about this. All right. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of cool. You got lyrics to those songs because I guess like I remember from the demo, like every song had a... Where every boss had a song, or at least the first one did. Whatever, it's the only one you can do. Here's some messages from the designers. I'm not gonna read these to you because they're forever. If you want to see them yourself, I'm gonna set it out real nice. Let me check the camera to make sure the angle's good. It is, you can pause and zoom in if you wanna read this. It's too much to read and you probably don't care. You're probably not gonna pause and that's good. Good for you, good for you, man. Good for you. Now we put this book back in the sheath to never be opened again. Ever. God dang sticky slice of crap. All right. Cool. I'll figure out where to put this. Probably alongside the dumbass tote bag. Okay, now the stuff, I'm not gonna lie. These three items are the reason I would have bought this collector's edition. They could have not included. They could have made that book smaller and put the whole thing in a freaking box that actually mattered, but whatever. Okay, this is the entire 100% reason why I bought this collector's edition. I loved the music. It was really effing good. And this is a three CD set. This is awesome. I'm going to enjoy this. This is going on, you know, I would say on the iPod, but you kids don't know what that is nowadays. So it's going to go on my actual iPod that I still listen to because I'm a caveman, but also on my phone because I'm also not an idiot. Um, I will say, and I, I'll say it again, if I, I forgot when I said it, or if I will say it, I've, it, whatever. You can buy this, apparently you can buy this separately. So, hey, hindsight being 2020, uh, you could just buy this soundtrack. So if you like this uh, music that you like, if you like the music for this game, which I will say is phenomenal, you can buy this separate from Square Enix, or if you can't now, they already said you can in the future. So don't spend all the stupid money to buy this stupid crap. Buy the game if you're interested, or the soundtrack, or just the soundtrack. You know, you do you. Electric Boogaloo. Um, I will say that this, to me, was a bonus, because I am a huge enamel pin guy. I do still inherently ugh, think the game is going to be fun, especially because you do get to do two players. I'm just really freaking pissed right now at this whole dumbass thing. So I will enjoy the game. Let's open it. You know, let's cheer up, right? It's only, for me, Monday, for you, Tuesday. We still have a lot of week to go. I'm playing Monster Hunter Rise right now anyway, and you know what, Monster Hunter Rise kicks ass. That game is real good. But let's see what you get in here, right? Uh, you know, let's take a bet. Is there anything? Uh, kinda. Huh. 
Let me see what it is in here. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, there was some paperwork. First off, you have the game. Reversible art. No red spine. So uh, it's not something I'm going to do. And let's see what this paperwork is. First thing is you get this little signed ticket. Um, I don't know. I guess this is like, hey, you got it the first day. Uh, it's like a ticket to the show of the game. I don't know if this is exclusive to the collector's edition. If any of you guys made the mistake like me of buying this game, then um, let me know in the comments if this is like special or if it just came with the game no matter what. Um, I'm not going to put this in the video. It's, it's, it's points for the Square Enix store and I buy stuff from there so I don't want anyone stealing the code. I'm too lazy to do it now. And uh, last but not least, an advertisement for their freaking phone gotcha game, the one that is going to cost you a bunch of money. Hey, scan the app and pay us more money for a game that you definitely don't need to get because gotcha games ruin your life. Trust me, I played Final Fantasy Record Keeper, don't do it. And uh, yeah, so cool, super, super neat. Um, I will say this is kind of cool. I really do hope that this is exclusive to this version. I can't say that, I don't know for sure. I'm mad right now, right? So I'm mad, so I'm taking it out on the game itself. <sighs> Even though everyone in the world shit on this game, I liked the demo begrudgingly. <sighs> I, you know, I think it's going to be all right, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to play a, a bunch of Monster Hunter, and that game's going to get at least, at least, like, 60-plus hours of my time, and then I'll think about Balan and what to do with all of this crap. That's the, that's the, this is it. This is what you get. Um, cool. Thanks for watching. Woo. So that is uh, the collector's edition of Blonde Wonder World. I'm, I'm glad I spent that much money on it. To be honest, um, I do dig the soundtrack. Uh, I am going to enjoy the game. You know, it's, it's not a $60 game, I would say. I feel like I wasted my money, but this was the only way to get that. Uh, that being said, I also learned recently that they're going to break apart this uh, collector's edition where you can buy the stuff separately, which means that I could have got away with buying the game when it went on sale for fuck $10 in the future and also bought the soundtrack separately from directly from Square Enix, avoiding scalpers. So, uh, thanks Square Enix for uh, sucking, and um, you know, uh, in the comments below, tell me how much of an idiot I was for buying this. Um, you live and learn, and you choose loves. That's gonna do it for us today, guys. Uh, I love the I told you so's. Drop them in the comments. It'd be really funny to watch how dumb I am and have you insult me about it. I deserve it. Uh, leave a thumbs up, uh, probably a thumbs down because this sucked. And as always, take it easy. <laughs>